What up, YouTube? Webhead Mike here again, and with the trending of D&D Be Gone, I begin wondering, does this mean the end of D&D? Can you run D&D with using a different rule system? Well, now we're getting into something that's like the ghost ship of Theseus. If, if you don't know, it's an old Greek parable that goes to saying, if a man has a ship, and over ten years it goes into a port and gets repaired every single time, by the time you hit the 10 years, nothing in that ship is the same physically that it was previously. Now, if it's all the same dimensions, it can do the same thing, it still has the same captain, but it is no longer what it was. All its parts have been taken out. Now then, conversely, when his wife, Ariadne, tries to go and find him, she goes to where the... Um, Dockmaster has all of the previously set aside things and makes her own ship out of using the same specifications to make that new ship and then goes to find him. So which is the real ghost ship of Theseus? I'm sorry, which is the proper ship of Theseus? Another thing that factors in is the fact that over 10 years, crew might just swap in and out. That's another layer that makes another question. And then on top of that, there's, isn't it the proper ship of Theseus if Theseus is the captain of it? Well, that goes into identity, and that kind of goes into what's happening with D&D um, &D right now. A lot of people are, I'm, I'm sorry, some people, some people out there are saying that you can't run 5e anymore at your local, friendly local game store. You have to run Pathfinder or someplace else. And don't you dare buy dice and play D&D &D with them. Oh, we'll blacklist you. I, I really doubt that's happening. I think more of what's happening is people are being more conscious about whether they will or won't buy a product that has that Wizards of the Coast or maybe Hasbro logo on it. That's what I think is coming more into this. And... To, to think, all right, can you take the lore of Dungeons and Dragons and then you take another rule system and simulate the uh, and simulate closely with how the mechanics and lore and narrative would work in D and D, but with a different rule system? Could that not still be a Dungeons and Dragons game? I thought a bit about this, and you can still call it a Dungeons and Dragons game, but I don't think you could call it a 5e or any edition game. It would just be called Dungeons and Dragons blank edition. You know, the blank being whatever rule system you're using in it. And that's a question that's come up because a lot of people, like myself, have invested a lot of time into the lore of Dungeons and Dragons fallen in love with all the little intricacies that happen, um, how gods were made and killed and and supplanted, made anew, how different factions have risen and fallen over the years, how cities and, and other settlements have come into existence over the time. We really don't want to let go of that, but we don't want to give Wizards of the Coast money. So what can we do? Well, like I said, one way would be to find another game system that can simulate what you would want to do. I mean, Pathfinder might be one option to go with. You can always go with um, Fate Accelerated, which will do anything. I mean, it's a little, it's a little, um, what's what I'm looking for, unsophisticated. It can still do everything, but it won't have the, the intricacies that you might want, especially if you're a big thinker. Another one would be index card RPG. I mean, that also can run anything, but it has a lot more freedom to adapt to whatever you're looking to make. I guess another one would be Genesis. They already have a fantasy setting. You would just have to look at, okay, how do I adapt some of these things into these elements? Like, if a Beholder is going to use its Death Ray on me, how would I resist it? Well, you know, you know, you would look at, okay, is it a, is it a dexterity saving throw? Well, then you would make an agility check. 
Is it a disintegration ray that will make me roll a con? All right, well, then you're going to roll your resilience. Or in the case of, you know, a death ray or something like using a dexterity saving throw, you would use agility or maybe specifically coordination. <laughs> you have the option to do this. And, and ultimately, there's also the nagging feeling in the back of our heads that will we stick with this or will we go back to Wizards of the Coast, Dungeons and Dragons? One future I hope for is one where Hasbro or Wizards of the Coast is no longer the current stewards of Dungeons and Dragons and we have a new company that has new that has a whole fresh start on Goodwill and then they can make 60 or 70 and have that be what's going forward. Now sadly, that would take at least probably 10 years to happen. We see it right now with um, Disney and Star Wars and Marvel. It was about back in, what was it, 2017 when we saw The Last Jedi and went, good God, this is awful. I mean, we had, I mean, we had some problems with The Force Awakens, but we had so much goodwill going into it, we were willing to give it a shot. And a lot of us did. Then we saw The Last Jedi and said, oh no. Any, any hope we had died with Luke fading into oblivion in that movie. The amount of disrespect that was shown to Han Solo in The Force Awakens and then Luke Skywalker in Episode 8, we said, without respect, we reject. Now again, we're only so much of the population that would look at that and interpret it that way. But now you're at a point in 2023, what is that, six years later? Now all of a sudden, any word of a Star Wars movie... Oh, there's crickets. And now all of a sudden in 2020... Sorry for that interruption. I had a call coming in. Now we're at 2023 and there's crickets around any potential Star Wars movie coming out. I mean, there's supposedly Rogue One right around the corner, but I've heard nothing about principal photography, filming, props, writing. Patty Jenkins um, might be doing her own thing. Who knows? Also, where was the Ryan Johnson trilogy? Where's the um, Benioff and Weiss or whatever it was that was supposed to, that was supposed to be coming from Game of Thrones to do a Star Wars series? Nothing from them. Uh, a Boba Fett movie? Oh, uh, that was made into a CW level TV show. Same with uh, Obi Wan. Oh, don't get started on that. You're not seeing exactly a healthy brand. And we're now hitting that point with Marvel where movies that should be hitting like a billion or so, they're, they're coming in just under or way below expected. Now, I myself was saying, okay, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, that might be their one hope to hit a billion, but even I said that'll maybe make... 800 million in the box office. And I think now it's teetering about 820, 830. Because it's a Black Panther movie that doesn't have Black Panther. And I'm not the I, I know I'm not, I know I'm not I know I'm not the first one to say this or think this. But here we are many many more years removed from this and now Bob Chapek was fired in the middle of the night on a Sunday night to have Bob Iger come back in. Does that sound like a healthy company to you? We'll have to see if there's going to be a similar trend that'll happen at Wiz 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 Wizards of the Coast or Hasbro. Now, I don't think Hasbro's in any... Um, I, don't, I don't think Hasbro is in, has any impetus to release control of Dungeons and Dragons so soon because they might still be able to refacilitate this. All you would have to do to restore confidence with us RPGers is put out a message saying, we have heard your outcry, D&D fans, and we are now suspending Cynthia Williams as head of Wizards of the Coast and will be seeking better 
avenues to go down, and we wish her well in her future endeavors. That's all you'd have to do. At least somewhat, because also, like with uh, Star Wars, when Mando Season 2 finale happened, we were all happy to see Luke Skywalker come back, be shown at least some respect, even if it was only a few seconds. And then all of us were talking about, ooh, is the Ahsoka series going to come in and give a rewrite to the Disney sequels? And all of a sudden, it was fun to have Star Wars again. Now, of course, that then immediately got dashed with the firing of Gina Carano, and everything else has been like, it's almost as if a low-bearing wall was taken out. And there's, and there's this horrible taste in your mouth at any time you would think about Star Wars. But that's all my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is there a chance that Dungeons & Dragons continues? Or not? Am I, am I missing something? Well, anyway, I thank you for your time. Please consider hitting the like button. And until next time, Webmike, out.